welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new and if you are new it would mean so much if you guys hit that red subscribe button down below and join the YouTube family but today I'm bringing you guys along my glow up transformation so I was looking a tiny bit rough this morning needs a good TLC treat yourself so I wanted to do a, a glow up transformation and share with you all the things that I like to do to look and feel my best I will link any product I do mention in this video in the description box as well as my merch if you guys want to go check it out comment down below what your summer plans are are you planning to go on a trip are you have any cool events coming up I'm curious no let me know I am actually going on vacation super soon so I thought this glow up routine was much needed and on that note let's just jump into the video. I'm going to share with you how I run from the left to the right and share with you everything I do to treat myself and just look my best. So let's just get right into it. Good morning. The glow up needs to be so real today, so let's just start with my glow up tips. <laughs> First things first, skincare is so important and taking care of your skin is just going to give you that amazing base. Whenever I take care of my skin, I just feel so good. I am just starting off by brushing my hair and putting it up in a low bun just to get it out of my face. And I'm starting off by using my Neutrogena Deep Clean Cleanser. I love this one because it has salicylic acid in it. And if you struggle with acne, I definitely recommend this cleanser. It's really recommended that you cleanse with some Something with salicylic acid because that's really gonna help treat the acne so of course I just started first with that and then I moved on to my Biore charcoal deep cleansing pore strips so I love doing these once in a while to just get all the gunk out of your nose it is so entertaining to see everything that comes off but I just applied it onto my nose making sure it was wet and then I applied the strip and I let it sit there while that was sitting there I moved on and applied my face mask so I'm just using the generation clay brightening purple clay mask and I actually got this mask in my fat fit fun summer box so if you guys want to check it out I will have that link down below because I do have a discount for the box I have been using it lately and I really like it it's said to refine brighten illuminate and nurture the skin but I just applied a thin layer onto my face of course avoiding the eyes and this you could really feel tightening your skin and I'm definitely really impressed by this mask after 10 minutes I went ahead and removed the pore strip this is just really great for getting rid of any dirt oil and blackheads it's a little bit gross when you remove it to see how much comes out I left the mask on also for 10 minutes and then I rinsed that off once it was completely dry with some warm water and then I just went ahead and followed it up with a moisturizer so lately I have been loving the glam glow water burst hydrated glow moisturizer it has definitely been my daily go-to one and I just applied it all over my skin then I went ahead with my rose quartz roller rose quartz is really great because it stays cool so it's really cooling on the skin when you roll it on top but some of the benefits it tightens and tones the facial muscles it also improves product absorption it addresses puffiness and wrinkles and it really helps tighten your pores with the naturally cold stones so I always like to do this in the mornings and then I go in with two of my ordinary serums which you guys know already I love their serums I started at first with the niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% and I apply this every single morning and this is really great for reducing the appearance of skin blemishes and congestion this has really been helping with my acne so I definitely recommend checking the ordinary products I will link it down below because all of their products are pretty much five dollars around that range so it's super affordable high quality skincare and then I also like to use the cafe 
caffeine solution, 5% plus EGCG. This has caffeine and green tea in it. It really helps reduce eye contour, pigmentation, and puffiness. If you have dark circles, this is the one for you. And then I just went with my rose quartz roller again, but used the other side of it to help with puffiness. The cooling of the rose quartz really helps with this as well. It is time for body care, so I just went ahead and shaved today. But before you shave, it's really important to exfoliate. So I'm just taking my charcoal body scrub, and this is going to get rid of the dead skin cells so you can have a smooth base to go ahead and shave. I hate the shaving process, I must say, but I absolutely love the after part and having smooth shaved legs. It is the best feeling ever. Comment down below which method you prefer, shaving, waxing, or laser hair removal? I'm curious to know. Makeup time. So I'm gonna share with you my holy grail products and also some tips that I like to do. I am just going in first with the Cover FX Illuminating Primer Base. This gives you just the perfect sheen. I then followed it with my Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation and this is my holy grail drugstore foundation. It is full coverage. I don't find it gets greasy. I find it also doesn't oxidize, which is always a problem with me and it is really affordable. So I just applied it all over my face with my foundation brush. It is super matte, so I did wanna use an illuminating primer because I wanted a little bit more of a glow today. I definitely recommend picking this up if you're looking for a good full coverage foundation that is also affordable. And then to set it, I just use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I find this to be such a dupe for some expensive powders at Sephora. I just applied it with a wet Real Technique sponge and I just baked with it and let it sit while I went ahead and contoured. So I am just using a contour stick from Maybelline as well. In the summertime, I always like to use creams and then follow it up with a powder to set it. So once I did use the contour stick, I just set it with my Marc Jacob Dream Filter Bronzer. I love this bronzer right now. It is a little bit more pricey, but it's so big that it's going to last you a very long time, but it is just the perfect bronze shade. But once I was done with my bronzer, I actually went ahead and wiped off the translucent powder. And then I set my face with my Grace and Stella Spray All Day Rose Spray. I just find it doesn't make your makeup look as cakey and it sets your makeup really well. And then I moved on to highlight, which is one of my favorite parts of my makeup routine. So I did start off with a cream highlight. So I'm just using the NYX Dose of Dew highlight and I applied it to all the high points of my face. And then to set it with a powder, this is definitely my favorite highlight right now. And that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Powder. This is such a good highlight. I definitely recommend trying it out. It's kind of like a golden highlight, which I think looks really great especially for the summertime so I always just like to set that on top of any cream highlight and this just really gives you that pop and that glow of course it is important to take care of your lips as well so I'm just going in with my collagen lip patch and all you have to do is apply it to your lips and let it sit there for 15 minutes and this is really nourishing and moisturizing so I just applied this while I continued on with my makeup then I went ahead with the Rimmel Wonder full brow. This is actually one of their new products that just launched in June and I am obsessed with it. It is so easy to just put your brows on with this. It is also waterproof. I am in the shade 002 medium if you guys are wondering. But once I was done with the brows, I removed my lip patch and my lips were super smooth. I just rubbed in the excess onto my lips and then I went ahead and quickly finished my eyes. So I didn't do much of an eyeshadow look. I just took the Marc Jacobs a bronzer once again and applied it to the crease of my eyes and then I followed it up with my elf liquid liner I just put a very thin line right at the lash line because this is just going to give you the illusion that you have thicker lashes so I always like to do that 
And then I followed it with some mascara, which my favorite right now is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This kind of reminds me of the dupe of Better Than Sex by Too Faced, so I definitely recommend checking it out. I just find it gives you volume and length, and it's super affordable as well. And then I actually went ahead and just popped some lashes because as you guys know, I love my lashes to be very intense and dramatic. I just really like the look of that. And then I just used my favorite lip combo that I'm pretty much wearing in all my videos and that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Strip. And then I follow it up with the Buxom Lip Cream in White Russian. I love this. I think you can put this on top of any shade and it just gives you the perfect gloss. I always get a million questions on how I do my hair and to do a hair tutorial. So I'm gonna share with you my favorite products and what I do to get my hair typically when it's wavy. So I always go in with my Moroccan Oil Perfect Defense. And this not only smells amazing, but it works great. It can work up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty much always the highest that my hair tools can go. But it's really important to put a heat protectant before any heat styling, so it really protects your hair against the heat damage. If you guys haven't tried Moroccan oil products, you need to because they just smell so good. Definitely the best smelling hair product. So I went ahead and used my curling wand. I believe this is an inch barrel. I always stick to this size and I always put the front pieces of my hair in a little bun. So how I typically get my waves is on one side, I will curl away from my face. And once I do curl my hair, when I let it loose, I usually catch it in my hand and just kind of hold Hold it towards my head for a few seconds before I let the wave go down. It just helps to hold the curl a little bit better. And then when I am finished doing the one side, I move on to the other side and I curl my hair towards my face. I just find this gives you that really nice beachy wave look and it looks really natural and it just gives your hair a lot more volume as well. Once I was done curling all my hair to give it more of a natural and effortless look, I like to brush it out. Today, I just simply brush it out by using my fingers. Sometimes I'll go in with a comb, but I really like the look of more looser waves than really tight curls. So I always need to do this step right when I finish and it just lays so perfectly and looks so nice after. The last step I always have to do with my hair look is to add the Moroccan oil and I just add a pea size amount and put it mainly to the ends of my hair and this is just amazing because this is really going to help condition your hair but it's also going to provide shine as well. I love the way it smells, it lingers on your hair and I absolutely love when you can smell someone's hair and it just smells really nice. I am all about that and this product is really great for helping with frizz as well but this is what my final look looked like. After that long transformation, we are finally done and this is how everything turned out. That is all for my glow up routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want a part two, thumbs it up. I love making these videos. And also don't forget to click the subscribe button to join my family. I upload every Thursday and Sunday. I will have all the products that I did talk about in the description box if you guys want to check it out as well as my merch. But on that note, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.